Hey everybody, thank you for watching Aim for Survival. Today we're going to be making a small camp chair. Stay tuned. Alright guys, y'all know me. I'm ready for a little bushcraft, a little woodcraft, a little fieldcraft, whatever you want to call it guys. It doesn't really matter. We're in the woods. We're going to take a tree and turn it into a chair. Now this area will be logged eventually, so it's no loss to the local resources. However, first we need the material. We're going to use our cold steel axe gang hatchet. We're going to fell this tree real quick and show you how all this works. Next, we're going to break out the Trailblazer handsaw. Small, but nimble. It'll do for this task. Okay, so we have our pole. And we're going to need a seat. Now, I'm going to take about four feet using a plumber's vise I'm going to go ahead and saw through here and make three additional poles to make this easier on myself I'll go ahead line up the two poles make a small cut so I know where to saw repeat once more going towards the end Another technique for using these small saws, just like the big ones. Get it on the material, hold the blade stationary, move the material. Where you're using different muscles the whole time, get more done, not having to support the weight or put the blade anywhere near yourself. With thicker pieces like this, it's nice to be able to give one group of muscles a break then go back to using the other one. Okay, so now we have our three poles. We need to turn them into a tripod. Real simple. We've got the number 12 bank line today. So we're gonna need to add some extra lashes. We won't frap this one, we will just go around it. Going more at the top, we'll go ahead and create our overhand loop, leaving a generous amount of tag. The tag will help us tie it off at the end. Get the cord through the loop as always. Make last adjustments. and lash it up. When you're all done, go ahead and tie you a couple 
overhand knots in here. Again, there are always better knots than the overhand knot. However, this will do in a pinch. Just for security, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the lashes to prevent them from spreading out. And repeat with a couple overhand knots again. At this point, arrange the legs of your tripod so that one bears the weight and the other two lean against it. Now with the tripod made, we'll go ahead and affix one of the branches we cut off earlier, finding a natural resting position, and we'll tie it up here. Again, we started with an overhand lash, overhand lash loop, I should say. I don't know what the technical term is. Okay, so looking here real quick, guys, I do tie an overhand loop. Get a bot, leave extra tail. Place the two logs together. Run this through the loop. And let it cinch down onto itself. Makes for a real quick lashing. Again, leave the tail to tie it off with later. Feeding it through the loop. And wrapping it around at least three or four times. Now at this point, you really will want to go ahead and throw in a few fraps just to keep it from fraying out. Taking what's left of the tag, putting the square knot, over end knot I should say, there we go, and repeating on the other side. Alright, here we are guys, we have a real quick easy tripod camp chair. Definitely more we can do to this at another date, but it's nice to get off your feet. I'm sitting here watching the sun go down on the side of the Smoky Mountains right now. I'll go ahead and remind you that if you liked any of the tools shown in the video today, check the links in the descriptions. They will support the channel. If you haven't already, smash your like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel.